sustainability is important for Leuphana uh, to bridge between science and practice. So we are developing the methodology of transdisciplinarity to see what can be done, what are the problems in the, in the practice and what can science contribute to solve these, not only within a discipline, but overall. So why the Green and Sustainable Chemistry Challenge? Well, sustainability is becoming more and more important. The world population is constantly increasing. It's uh, reaching to 9 billion, I believe. The resources are not infinite, and that's why uh, sustainability is really essential. You may ask why green and sustainable chemistry? Green chemistry is a little bit more, or sometimes much more focused on the chemical itself or the chemical product. But in focus is not, for example, what is behind the resources you are using that are de delivered into your laboratory. So, what about the mining conditions? Is there child work involved, for example? Or is it coming from a region where we have a civilian war? Chemistry, the chemistry sector is the, the most polluting sector in the world. So we have to, it's not a luxury, it's not an option, we have to make it sustainable. So one famous example for a sustainability challenge that we have worldwide are these famous garbage swirls, the great ocean garbage swirls, uh, which I think we have five of those, tons and tons of plastic. And, and from this example we can see that the products where we thought uh, they are helpful and they improve our life, now bite back in a way. And, and the problem is naturally an international one. We expect also to know at the end more about the future possibilities and opportunities what can sustainable chemistry uh, deliver to our work as development cooperation. From an Elsewhere Foundation perspective, I also see a role we can play. And when I saw the launch of the challenge and the discussions, I thought, more than anything, it's very important for developing country scientists to be part of the solutions, part of the research. The problem is, is that in uh, developing countries, like, for example, uh, Tunisia, uh, which I come from, there are other priorities. They even don't know what's the difference between green chemistry, sustainable chemistry, or, or environmental chemistry. You know, normally I just work on journals, trying to improve my journals, trying to improve the articles in the journal. But this is a completely different aspect of publishing. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy this and I'm very enthusiastic about it. And uh, I hope we get a lot of good proposals that will make a difference.